What is good? We're back with the Madden 06 Dolphins franchise, and we have our second meeting with the Buffalo Bills this season. This time we got them at home. So the Bills are 3-8 and eight right now. Here's a look at the roster again in case anybody needs a refresher. So yeah, we're back to game action. That's on me. I completely forgot that we already played them before, I guess, when I played this game again. Because sometimes I reshow the roster. If I show the roster in the first game, usually I like just to show like the statistics and the progress. That way, it's like you already know who's on the team. So if you need a refresher, you can always go back to the first meeting of the uh, season in the vault. But anyway, that's a great run by Ronnie Brown. And yeah, I like this new uh, style. We're running the football. Troy Vincent gets absolutely crushed right there trying to make a tackle. Put in Sammy Morris. He's going to pick up the first down. I like this. This two-headed monster we kind of got going in the backfield. I mean, if that's what we got to do, that's what we got to do. Second down for Rot. He's going to look to throw. Donald Lee wide open. He makes the catch. They say he's out of bounds. He was in bounds. I mean, he probably would have gotten tackled right there and wouldn't have gotten much more. But I had to challenge that because I was like, both his feet are in bounds. What are y'all talking about? Like, you can't, you can't entirely see in that angle, but you can see it right there. Like, that was close with the left foot, but he got it down. Like, it touched on the green. And the rest going to rule in my favor. So, there we go. First down after that, Parrot looking to throw again. McMichael's open in the flat. We're going to get it to him. He gets up field, and that's about a six, seven-yard gain. And Nate Clements is hurt. He hurt his shoulder making that tackle. So, he's going to have to go out. Second down and four. Handoff is to Sammy Morris. That's going to be a first down. Violates the strong safety. We're inside the 10. First and goal. Parrot looking to throw. He's going to look for Chambers. Chambers has it. Did they give him the touchdown? No, they didn't give him a good spot. So, Ronnie Brown, I thought we were going to get it right there. Nope. Third and goal. We're going to give him a toss play, and he's getting it that time. So, there we go. And we're on the board off rip. JP Law's been looking to throw. He's taking a shot on the first play. That's bad away. Good defense by Chris Gamble on Lee Evans. Second down and 10. Lossman looking to throw again. He's locked on to Lee Evans. He's trying to find him. He's going to come across the middle. I thought we had a pick with Jeremiah Bell, but nope. Lee Evans is going to make the play. So third and inches, we need to stop play action. Lossman's going to throw for it, and that's caught by Newfield, the H-back. So first down, Lossman moving in the pocket. He says he's letting that go. It's incomplete. Second down, 10 coming up. Lossman drops back. He's going to take off with it, and Yeremiah Bell is going to bring him down. So third down and six after that. They have yet to run the ball with Willis McGahee. They're going to get him a screen right there, but Jason Taylor shuts that down. He was on that. So we get the ball back first down. Ronnie Brown on the stretch play. Nice spin move. Make somebody miss. That's about a nine-yard gain right there. Second down and inches. Ronnie Brown, can he pick up the first down? Yes, he can. And more. He's still going, spinning up field and whatnot. So we're going to flex Donald Lee out. I did not do that on purpose. When I flex somebody out, I do it usually on accident. The controller's getting old anyway. We're going to find Ronnie Brown out of the backfield. That's a good run. Stiff arms a man. He gets knocked out of bounds. But when I do that, it's on accident because this controller's kind of old that I've been playing with lately, so I need to get a new one, which I will very, very soon. But a lot of these games were played with this controller, so I haven't even gotten a new one yet. So think about all the games that I've played with this same controller. But now I will start flexing some of the tight ends out into the slot going forward, depending on the team, if they can do it, because I think that, that just adds an element. And, you know, a lot of the tight ends line up in the slot in today's game. The way they use them is completely different. It's definitely evolved over the years. Anyways, we score with Ronnie Brown once again. So, yeah, that's my tangent about flexing people out. Like, if I do that, it's on accident. If I motion somebody, it's usually on accident. <laughs> There's still a lot of stuff I don't know how to do or that I probably do if I read the book, but I haven't figured out quite yet. So, yeah. Anyway, back to the game. That's a nice catch by Josh Reed. I thought we had a pick. We had two guys there. Josh Reed's the one that comes up with the ball. 
crazy enough. Willis McGahee with the run right there. Third down now after that. McGahee, he's going to pick up the first down. Lossman looking to throw. He did have the full, but he gets it to him really late, and he still makes the catch. Like, I mean, he, he floated that one up there, man. He got it to him late. Lossman, he's going to look into the end zone. I thought that was a pick, man. Hit Sam Asson right in the hands. Second and goal. McGahee, he's only going to get a couple yards. So it's third down and goal now. J.P. Lossman's going to have to throw it. Pump fakes, moving in the pocket. He was about to get sacked, and then we drop another potential pick. Junior Seau that time. So they get three points. Really, they could have had zero if we just caught the ball. So Russell, he's going to get the kickoff return. And there goes Russell. He's going to get it out to almost the 30-yard line. So first down for Miami. Farratt looking to throw. He's going to step up, finds Randy McMichael. That's going to be a first down for Miami. And we have to take a timeout because Randy McMichael is hurt. His elbow's banged up. Play action now. Farratt looking to throw. Rolling. Perry is our long snapper. He is not a receiving tight end at all. So if McMichael's down, we're going to have to get a new tight end. That was dropped by Marty Booker. So it's third and very long. Farratt's going to look to throw. I think he just decided to settle it, dump short to Ronnie Brown, and he does. Did Buffalo take a timeout? No, they didn't, and we ran down the clock. We punted it, and they got rid of the ball. But right here, first play, we're going to get a pick with Tillman, but they're going to say that he had P.I. He impeded the route, so the pick doesn't matter, and it's an automatic first down for Buffalo at the spot of the foul. Like, look at this. That's P.I. That's just a guy getting in position to make a play. He didn't even hit him. Like, he might have bumped him when he went by, but that's not P.I. Like, that's a terrible call. Terrible call. Second down, J.P. Lossman, he's going to get sacked, though. So we have a chance to get him off the field anyway, but I would have loved the much better field position, to be honest. Lossman taking a shot. That is over his receiver's head, and they had to punt. And there goes Wes Welker, hurdles a man on the punt return. That's why I had to show it. If Wes Welker does something cool, I'm going to show it. Like I said, the plan in the future is to get him into the offense. I have not given up on Wes Welker. He's a low overall. I think we can definitely get him involved in the offense, just maybe not this year because we kind of have what we have. That was undercut by the Buffalo Bills defense, and it's going to bring up fourth down. Lossman looking to throw now that the Bills have the ball back. Wills McGay, he catches it out of the backfield, and he's going to truck somebody and keep going. And I think it was Reggie Howard he trucked because he's hurt. Lossman looking to throw. He's going to dump it to Eric Moulds, the veteran receiver. Second down and two. Play action. Lossman looking. That's caught by Eric Moulds again. First down, Buffalo. Still getting it done. And now Sam Madison is hurt, so we're just dropping DBs like flies. Lossman, he's going to run with it. J.P. Lossman's going to dive forward. He's almost at the first down marker. So counter to Willis McGahee. He's going to be brought down by two Dolphins defenders. Right there, we're going to jump off sides. Zagonia got a little excited, so yeah. Anyway, J.P. Lossman looking to throw. They run a post-corner concept. The post is open when we try to go with the corner. I mean, whichever one we covered, he was going to throw the other. Good concept. I'll give him that. Lee Evans makes the catch. Right there, that's incomplete. It was behind the tight end, but he had a chance to bring it in. He didn't. McGahee, we just ran completely by him with Tillman and missed. And that's a touchdown for the Bills. So Russell's going to get the kickoff return, and he's going to get it out to the 31-yard line. We will take that. So first down, 10 after that. Gus Farratt looking. He's going to dump it to Chris Chambers. Chris Chambers has the first down right there for Miami. So hand up is the Ronnie Brown. He's going to cut back, spin up field. That's a good run. Second down and two coming up. We hand it to Brown again. Nobody blocks Sam Adams. I don't know how he's a nose tackle. And third down, Ronnie Brown's going to pick up the first down right there. So Farratt looking to throw on first down. He's going to go to David Boston on the curl, but Boston can't hold on through the hit. Second down, Sammy Morris with a nice run. He's going to get about nine yards, but the ball is out. Buffalo recovers. I thought he was down, so we're going to challenge it. We won one today. Let's see if we can win another. And we were 2-0 and on challenges in Oakland last week. So we've been doing pretty good using challenges. Look at Coach Saban watching. And I think that's Dick Jerron that's coaching the Bills right now. I don't know. This was 05. I know he was coaching the Bills in 07, but I don't know if he was coaching them in 05. you got to do your own research. But I think that's Dick Jerron. Let's see what this ref says. 
He reverses it. So we're 4-0 and in the last four challenges. Let's go. So we give the ball to Ronnie Brown, and we got the first down. And more, man, if he made that guy miss, he was gone. That's all good, though. First down, we're going to give it to him again. There goes Ronnie Brown. Ah, oh, Chris Kelsey is going to make a tackle. That's a good play by him. I'll give him that. Second and 11, we're going to look to throw for Rott. Looking for McMichael. McMichael comes back to the ball and makes the catch. That's a great play by him because Troy Vincent was coming back trying to pick that pass off. Third down for Rott. He's going to look. We did have McMichael. We waited forever to throw it, and... Yeah, that pass was lofted up there, I believe, because Farrak got hit as he let it go. But Olin Omari is going to make us right, and we're going to walk away with three points. We're only up 17-10, to 10, but I feel like we're up by so much more because we're just outplaying them. We should be up by more. Second down, Lossman looking to throw. Right side, that's caught by the fullback. Fullback's still going. He's going to be brought down around the 34-yard line. Play action now, J.P. Lossman looking. Newfield is going to bring that one in. And that's going to be a first down for Buffalo. Toss play to McGahee. We're going to bring him down the backfield. That's Chris Gamble shutting it down. Second down now. Lossman looking across the middle. That's picked off by Zach Thomas. Zach Thomas, man, he's balling out. Veteran linebacker. First down now for Rott looking. He's going to take a shot deep to Chambers. Can we get him? Oh, I thought we had him, but Terrence McGee's going to get his hand in there. Second down now. Sammy Morris on the run. First down and more. Yes, I said it prematurely, but yeah. He got it. First down and more. We're going to give it to Sammy Morris once again. That was kind of shut down. We had to try to cut back. Second and nine for Rott. Looking, taking a shot on the corner to McMichael, who brings it in. First down, Miami. There we go. It's funny. We torched him with Chambers the last time we played him. Now we have to torch him with somebody else. We're sacked. We were looking for Chambers on that play. Play action now. We're looking. We're going to take a shot to McMichael. They were on that. So, yeah. Different play. Third and goal. We're going to dump it to Ronnie Brown out of the backfield. Can Ronnie Brown score? Lowers his shoulder. He's still going. Touchdown, Miami. Ronnie Brown wanted that touchdown. Let's watch the replay again. He comes out of the backfield on the option route. Catches it. Get off of me, fool. And you can't pull me back. I'm going to fall forward into the end zone. And he's over here like, yeah, I'm that guy. Yes, you are. Offensive rookie of the year. I'm calling it now. First down and 10. J.P. Lossman looking to throw. He's going to go looking for his guy, Tillman. There you go. You got a chance to redeem yourself. Well, not even redeem yourself. Get a pick that the refs couldn't argue this time. I'll say that. He had a chance to do that. He dropped it. And then Lee Evans gets the first down. Great. But we're going to get the sack. Tillman gets the sack right there. Second down. Lossman looking across the middle. Finds Lee Evans. We whiff on the hit stick with Tillman. I don't know how, but we did. So third down for Buffalo. They got to run no huddle. It is now under two minutes in the game. So... Lossman, he's looking to throw. He's going to find Newfield. We're okay. We invite them to throw that. It's third and long. Fourth down. Reed's going to make that catch. But he loses the football anyway. I was mad that he caught it, but then he loses the football. Sam Madison gets it. He's going to try to get as many yards as he can without taking a hit, and then he runs out of bounds. So now we just need to run out the clock. Ronnie Brown on first down. He gets a solid gain right there. Buffalo only has one timeout left. And right there, Sammy Morris, he's going to get the first down. So that pretty much wrapped it up. They only had one timeout. We ran out the clock from there. And we get the win 24 to uh, 10. Farrat had a good game. Obviously, with Sage Rosenfeld's down, that's the one we're going with. Ronnie Brown, he averaged under four carry. That's okay. But Sammy Morris chipped in. So that's okay. I mean, we run like that. I'm okay with that. If Ronnie Brown doesn't get to 100 yards, but Sammy Morris pitches in like 40, 50 yards, that's okay. I mean, we're winning games. When we run the ball well, we're winning games. I mean, I don't think I've ever seen a team run the ball really well and lose unless they turn the ball over left and right. So anyway, I'm going to show the rest of these stats. We are now 8-4. and four. It's going to be us and the Patriots neck and neck in this division because the Bills aren't very good. The Jets aren't very good. I can't remember who the next game is, but... It'll be out probably after this one. I'm probably going to try to get a lot of these Dolphin games done because I don't want to be throwing in four or five different franchise games like all over the place. I want to try to get some consistency. That way, the ones who are watching the games lately, like recently, you see some consistency.